What's up guys and welcome to this video. So today I reached 2,000 subscribers which is really awesome. Obviously I can't thank you guys enough, that is really insane. Uh, I just want to say obviously like a massive thank you for all the support and everything so far and all the friends I've made and stuff is really insane and just really cool. So basically to thank you guys for obviously 2,000 subscribers I decided to make this video because it's something that's been asked a lot by you guys, requested and it's troubled a lot of you guys, you know you've been asking about it in the comments a lot, uh, what I used to record, how I record and all that stuff pretty much that goes into making each video so today I thought I'd show you guys so let's get into this. Alright so you guys know that if you're running the RuneScape client it opens up in this sort of shape uh, window like this. Now in order to make it basically HD for me to upload to YouTube and record in I use a program called Sizer as you can see down here. Uh, I've, I'll leave all the links basically to everything I use in the description if you want to go check them out yourself. Uh, I got this idea from my cousin uh, Scape School the other day when he made a video on this so that's how I know about the program. It's really useful so I definitely recommend checking out that video if you don't know what it's about and stuff he goes into a lot of detail on it and it's just really useful so in order to find it you just go on this little arrow down here and then it's basically just the four arrows here you right click on it and go to configure sizer now basically you can right click on any of the windows to go to resize and then obviously shape it like that but because basically whenever you get the program it only comes with the top three resolution settings like these three here um, you can make a new one really easily by clicking add and then just type in the resolution you want uh, and obviously the title of it whatever you want it to um, because I've already got mine set up I just delete that real quick um, but this is my 720p one now as you can see this isn't the same resolution as 720p it's actually 1300 by 758 because this obviously it can be a couple over and a couple under depends what you want to set it as um, but this one right here is a really good setting for recording in obviously 720 just because you do have to take into account the minimize maximize and obviously the cross off button so I mean you do have to take that into consideration and that's why this is a really good setting for that it's a really good uh, sort of a resolution for it so if you do want to use that then just go ahead uh, apart from that everything else is okay so once you've basically put this in there just hit ok and then you can right click on any of the windows you have open go to resize and reposition and then just go down to the one uh, obviously you can rename it anything like I said and just go down to it and it resizes it like that so now when you open up your recording software it does record it in the 720p HD which is really good uh, so the program I'm using at the moment is actually Fraps I was using Bandicam for a while as you can see down here uh, Bandicam which I'm actually using to record this video itself um, so obviously I had to find another program just so I could show you guys so I think I'm going to start recording with Fraps from now on just because it's a lot less laggy for me I guess, it's a lot easier um, at the moment. I really like it at the moment, I've tried it on a couple of little test videos and it's really cool. Uh, so just for the settings pretty much, I haven't changed anything else apart from this tab here. So I do not record the Windows 7 sound because, I mean I could sometimes but I don't really need to at the moment. I haven't changed the folder. Obviously Fraps records in big files, it creates really big like AVI files so if you do obviously have an external hard drive it's a lot easier if you just save them to that save a lot of space for you I guess um, but what the button I use the hotkey is insert now this is because it doesn't interfere with the game if you press it whilst you're playing RuneScape and stuff it doesn't interfere with anything uh, it's kind of hard to do that because obviously there's a lot of buttons now that do bring up sort of like shortcuts and stuff so this one's a pretty nice one to use it doesn't interact with it and it's just a lot easier so that's what I use insert if you want to use that as well uh, the settings on the FPS you can obviously use 50 or 30 I'm pretty sure RuneScape um, the maximum on RuneScape is 50, uh, but I think it's a 30 is a good one for YouTube, I think, I'm not too sure, um, but either one of these is fine, I'm guessing, uh, so either one of them, I just use 30 for now, that's pretty fine with me. I have this one split movie every 4 gigabytes, so it isn't too big of a file, otherwise that might lag out my computer, I'm not too sure. Um, and on this one, I have all these unticked, this one I have unticked, and obviously I have the record external input from the microphone that I'm using right now, um, and I don't want to use that one there because otherwise that's annoying, having to hold that down, so just untick it and it will record it all the time. And then, yeah, you just hit insert to record it. What you have to do in order to record a certain screen uh, or a certain window is just click on it, make sure it's selected, and then hit insert. If I do that now, hit insert, and then you can just randomly do whatever you want to do, and then hit insert again, and it'll only record what's in this one here, which is really good. And then, obviously, like I said, the resolution just helps you to sort of, um, when you're editing it, you can sort of cut it out, and it'll still be in the HD format, which is really cool. Uh, so next up, I guess, is the audio. I don't always use the recording software to record the audio as well, just because sometimes it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really sound as good as it does when you use certain software. So at the moment, I'm using this one to record this video, as you can see here. Now, this is 
a really nice piece of software, um, it's absolutely free, it's called AVS Audio Recorder 4.0. Now in here, as you can see, you can put the input devices, uh, have, if you have like any other microphones and stuff, or you can just click on this drop tab and pick whatever one you want. You can change the recording format from stereo to mono, and the obviously MP3, I think you have WAV and something else as well. Uh, you can change the title of it if you want it to be the date and time, which I have, I find it a lot easier. As you can see down here, the date is there and the time is there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is on this one. Uh, the auto level makes it automatically adjust the volume to how you're speaking, which is really nice. Um, I don't use that, as you can see it's not lighting up blue. I just use this one here to adjust pretty much how loud I want it to, and I'm pretty sure you can move. I'm not going to adjust it now because otherwise that might mess up this recording, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I use for that. So once I've got all my footage done and everything is done, I basically go on to the video editing software, and the one I use is Vegas Pro 12, so if you open that up real quick. Um, I've already put my intro in here just so I can show you guys sort of how to use it if you don't know how to use it because I know it is kind of confusing when you first get it. Um, so what you want to do is, once you've inserted your clips, by going on to import media. Now in order to have this, you do have to be selected on project media. You can also get this through going to file, uh, import, and then media. I just think it's a lot easier just to use that one there. And then once you've selected whatever you want to put in there, you can put like, obviously audio, music, and all that stuff, anything you want to put in there, just go ahead and whack it in. And then you want to just drag it down into this bar down here. So the audio would just go on this one here, but you can, if you want to put like a music track over it as well, you can obviously make a new one really easily if you just use this button if I minimize that real quick um, just basically scroll down right click and go to insert an audio track or a video track and you can pretty much do it like that by scrolling you zoom in and out and that's pretty much what I use I just drag on my clips onto here put some different transitions on I usually use this one here push if you uh, remember it as you can see there I make it a lot faster so it like whooshes across and if you add some nice like sound effects and stuff like that it sounds pretty cool so that's pretty much what I use hopefully it's helped you guys uh, basically see how I do it. It's nothing really too special, um, it's just, I don't know, it's a nice way to do it. I enjoy editing this way, I find it a lot of fun and it's pretty easy as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up because that's awesome. And again, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. It means so much to me right now, I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care.